These are the evergreen plains of Amarish. It is scattered with many small and bizarre ecosystems, from the gargantuan moss plateaus of the north to the sharp cliffs that protrude across this continent. However, the wildlife we are here to observe today has a very unusual habitat, the Spawn Room. This is the Spawn Room Warrior, and in Latin, the Timentes Balator. This creature has many variations of genus, but shares a vein of similar characteristics. It is extremely cautious to the point of cowardice, for it will not leave its impenetrable shell. It will even feed from its own habitat without exposing itself to danger. The food may be scarce, but to the spawn room warrior, the scraps will do. These are the snowy hills of Ezemir, a landscape dominated by violent purple crystals. Compared to Amrish, a harsh and inhospitable environment. So you would expect to be uninhabitable for the fragile spawn room warrior. Not the case here. This is one of the most stubborn and prolific creatures on Oraxis. This scavenger's food is oddly also its predator, which preys on any spawn room warriors that stray too close to the edge of their tight communes. The most common spawn warrior family is the infiltrator. These infiltrators are static creatures who secure themselves to the spawn room, often on the lip of a windowsill. They are also the smallest of the family, due to the very rare occurrence of catching their prey. The infiltrators often do not learn many hunting skills from their parents. The next variation of the spawn room warrior is the heavy. This creature can feed off of vehicles and infantry, using its rocket spewing appendage like a spear. The Heavy is, however, known to be reckless when it comes to leaving their shell, as they are a bull-headed creature. Obsessed with their homes, the Spawn Room Warrior will often stay in the Spawn Room, even if it means certain death. Ironically, the Spawn Rooms can become inhospitable for the Spawn Room Warrior, if contaminated by intruders. Elder Spawn Room Warriors and those born with larger brains oddly go back to the womb of the Spawn Room when in trouble, which will protect them until the Spawn Room is able to heal and become uncontaminated. This pitiful and yet fascinating creature sure deserves a mark in the list of most bizarre creatures. Thank you all very much for watching. Joshino.